Yeah, I'm going to the blackboard, drawing up some X and O's, and getting... <laughs> <laughs> you ever get that feeling everyone's watching you? <laughs> Uh, my wife was in an episode of Friends with, uh, That's is true. it Matt? Yep, Matt. Matt. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Which one was that? Uh, it was the one, where it was in a coffee shop. and uh, Okay. It's just a small The scene. one where we were in the coffee house? Doing the, the coffee shop. <laughs> no, they can't, but you're going to a cafe? I went, yeah, it's a French word for a coffee house. I'm going to go around the corner. <laughs> the corner. <laughs> and I went into, sorry, not all Americans are stupid. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I, I knew I'd get a cheap laugh out of a heat-stroked <laughs> crowd, so I'm, so I'm very sorry. Uh, not I wasn't listening. So. You, uh, right, uh, <laughs> I don't think he's ever not stopped working, except for right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm working right now. It's work. Is that Sitting right? Here next to you, trying to look interested in what you're talking about. <laughs> it's work. But buddy. you're a gearhead, correct? The Super Bowl is on Sunday. Yes, it is. And you're originally from New England, but you live in L.A., so are you... Torn about who to root for and where are you watching? Well, yeah, well, I've lived out here now for about 30 years, so I think it's gonna be. Yeah. I think it's gonna be horrible when the Pats kick the Rams out. And we were gonna call you, and but then Jay, you said you you LeBlanc'd on his number. Yes. Right. 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 right and because right. of that, I've been in the I've been in the uh, the G Force machine, yeah. and I LeBlanc'd out. Yeah. So, so that's a la shame. Yeah, it's a la shame. <laughs> Wait. So you ever do you ever just drive it around, blasting music, and you're not performing any function with the bulldozer, but you're just like doing figure eights or something? No. <laughs> Where's this picture from? Uh, that was last week, I think. <laughs> when you ask me some deep questions, like how I feel, no one ever asked me how I feel. They say, what was it like to do this? Because what I know you don't have feelings, and you hide them. You well, hide your feelings. Well, ask me. Maybe I'll open up to you. How you feeling these days? Fuck off. Eternal love or many exciting relationships? Uh, wow. Eternal love. <laughs> Always eternal love. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah, one tooth is a little longer than the other one. I go, oh, really? You should get that filed. I go, okay. Yeah. So I look up a dentist, no insurance. I go to see the guy. He says, yeah, I can file that for you. It'd be about 80 bucks. I go, 80 bucks? What? Well, I go, what are you going to do? He goes, I'll just file it. I go, let me see the file. <laughs> <laughs> so he shows it to me, and I go, well, ah, forget it. No, don't worry about it. So I go to the drugstore and buy, like, a three-pack of emery boards. <laughs> Wait a minute, Five. you filed your own tooth down? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, when you went back to the guy, what did he say? Did got, he goes, they, they did a nice job. <laughs> Why are you so ornery? You know what ornery means? Yeah, that's when you're with a lady. <laughs> no, no. Uh, my first, like, commercial. Do you remember what it was? Yeah, it was a, a public service announcement for the Constitution. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, to remind people that there is a constitution? I guess so, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should do another one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Or would yeah. I have to wear overalls or something? You could, you could wear that. Yeah. yeah. You don't look happy about this. <laughs> I like it. It's very soft. I okay. noticed that when I hugged you. <laughs> Let me rephrase yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> You know who was here uh, the other night? Uh, the other night, the the the, the beautiful. Uh, your oh man, uh, she lovely. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? My mom was here. No, no, no. <laughs> That's right. Your mom. Your mom was here. <laughs> okay, so Man with a Plan is about a guy played by me. <laughs> Already we're in. That's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. No, I wish I was wearing a body cam. That is a. <laughs> Let me do that again. How much bush do we have here? Let's keep it clean, folks. Come on. Sleep in the pajamas or sleep naked? Sleep naked. <laughs> and they applaud you. What about you on that one? Pajamas or naked? Naked. Come on. Yeah. I didn't get an applause. She did. Bigger than mine. I had to. I had to. Beg for it. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you get it.
<laughs> you know, oh, what's the chemistry like? But you don't know each other, do you? But by now, have you sort of settled into more of a groove together? Is the relationship forming? Do you go for beers? Do you want to hold hands for this next part? <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing I took was, you know, the Magna Doodle that was on the back of the apartment door. It always had things written on it. Well, there was, so I, I clipped that at the end. And I couldn't fit the couch in my car, but... <laughs> you tried. But the Magna Doodle was cool because there was this one guy, Paul, on the, on the crew, that he was the one that always drew whatever was on there. That he, and he wasn't one of the writers. He was one of the electricians on the show. And he just was, happened to be the he artist that, that kind of drew always something relevant to the story that week on the thing. So I stole it and gave it to him. So he's got it. So no. that was, was kind of cool. Good yeah. for you. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great.